So, welcome YouTube. We are uh, at the moment uh, live on Twitch. Uh, we ran into a little bit of a problem, which is that OBS crashed while the uh, very first cinematic of the game was going on. Uh, had to restart the computer entirely, had to restart obviously OBS, the game and everything. I deleted the character, we're gonna build him uh, again and we're gonna re-jump in this because while I was trying to solve the issues at the same time I didn't pay attention to the first cinematic and I swear to you guys I just know that I woke up into a cave uh, but we didn't move from there because I was just too focused on fixing the issue. So this is it. Uh, if you want to see all of this happening live, the link to the Twitch is going to be in the description down below. That being said, here we are finally, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I don't know how the sorting is going to go, but I'm really curious to see how it's going to be. So, new game. Already read it. I'm going to read it again. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. So first of all, I don't know why. Because seeing what it happens later doesn't look like it's normal. Looks like we skipped some classes. Term begins on 1st of September. It doesn't specify a year, but based on visuals, long time ago uh, in a United Kingdom far far away uh, preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle as you may be aware the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school however due to your unique circumstances the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for, for the start of term feast. Sorry, for the start of term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Oh, is Professor Weasley Deputy Headmistress? Then I misunderstood. Because at first I thought they were two different individuals, but if Deputy Headmistress... And at first, you know, before seeing the cinematic earlier, I was like, are we maybe after the events of the books and the film? Is maybe Professor Weasley, George Weasley, or maybe Ginny? Because I don't exactly remember what happens um, to them. I believe George got to work at the Ministry, didn't he? Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but I'm not sure. But based on the fact that I believe this is happening, you know, in a long time ago. Uh, perhaps ancestors. Because I believe there's only one Weasley family. So here it is. To think that they would have an ancestor who would be deputy headmistress and that friend George and... Mainly friend George were uh, not really uh, textbook, you know... Um, students so yeah let's start the game so i in my mind we are we were gonna go with building a character uh looking like me so i took out a picture to reference uh myself earlier uh it's actually this one here um i'm gonna leave it on the side not to parasite uh, your view and I'm gonna move my big head from there. So you can see this. So I believe this guy is gonna be our base. And I don't know if I moved the face, did I? I'm not sure cool. Yeah, because as you can tell, I have quite a long face. I think. Hmm. 
<sighs> Sorry, because when I watch them, sometimes the jaw I don't like, sometimes the nose I don't like, sometimes the eyes I don't like. There's nothing really that can fit that can fit me that fits me. See, because that's definitely not my nose. This one I think is the closest. In any case. I think my skin is slightly lighter. I think my skin is this tone, is it not? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because then, then it's darker. I don't know why I'm more on the orange uh, complexion. The hair. We found something that could suit me. This one here. I have done some braids like that once or twice. Uh, but there's no undercut in the, in the propositions. So I suppose... Uh, Hogwarts isn't really fond of undercuts. Just making sure I'm still alive. So because I get surprises. Um, shame we can't personalize the nose, the heart, the eyes, the ears. Here, um, so I got slight uh, markings here, but it's more of a, you know, um, texture thing, not so much color-wise. So I think we're gonna go with no things and complexion. Um, decided to go with the white, white, uh, markings on the face because I tend to get these here especially in the winter eye color okay so here's where I deviate from myself because I wanted uh, clear eyes yes um, dark blue you know not these ones could it could through they could freak people out. These ones are not that bad. Hmm. Maybe these ones. No, I think these ones. Deep blue. I like it. And actually, the default um, eyebrows are the ones that resemble mine the best. These ones, it's too much. Because I have quite delicate ones and they are arched. Yeah, there is no. Because these ones could have been shape wise, but then, but they're too thick, in my opinion. So yeah, it's way prettier than an eye. It's way prettier than an eye, but this is what it is. Voice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. We could do a funny character that way, but that was quite something. So here's what I said last time: a few cobwebs uh, and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. When I said last time, I mean 20 minutes ago. Uh, I'm disappointed with the voices because I thought it was going to be, when I saw Pitch, I thought it was going to be different voices, in different ranges, just male or female. But it's not just the same voice that they just pitched to just change the pitch. 
and it sounds robotic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. And it's cheap. I mean... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Oh, this one. Uh... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. But this one, no. How can they do this? They can't do this. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. There's a slight layer of uh, robotic... There's a slight layer of robotic voice in there, don't you think? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, it's not good. That was quite something. It's not good. It's such a shame because this, obviously the lower tones, the lower pitch, resembles mine. Resembles mine. But because it sounds bad, I'm... I, I am not, you know... I'll, I'll leave it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Because if I... Every time I hear it, it's not going to sound good. I focus on story for minimal gameplay challenge. No more or hard. The demanding gameplay challenge is the thing. We're going to go no more or we're going to go hard. Because we go hard on Earth. Um... Hmm... I might want to go hard. Might want to make this interesting. Because I just played Mass Effect 1 and I kind of... You know, flew my way through the game. Rather easily. Maybe I might want to do something quite challenging, reminding me of Dark Souls. Let's go on the hard mode. And I named my character Dimitriax Nimelda. Because the Y is going to be pronounced like in Latin, like a U. So it's going to be Dimitriax. 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 Dimitriax or Dimitriax? Demetriax. Demetriax. Let's go with Demetriax. I don't remember exactly how I named the first one. The first, first one. That doesn't exist anymore. That never existed. Let's not refer to this sort of character anymore. So yes, Demetriax or Demetriax? Demetriax. Demetriax Numelda. I like it. Sounds very. Uh, Harry Potter-esque, doesn't it? No bronze? There's a story behind this... Um, <laughs> I was about to, to name the brand. Uh, behind this um, bottle. If you want to get it, you know what to do, Twitch. <laughs> and we're going to play Wizard, obviously. And so this dude is way more handsome than I am. But it's me. <laughs> it's not the journey. Oh, let's me move the camera. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spellcasting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen I'm anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Please do. Ages since I'd been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. So because I kind of already seen the first cinematic, I think it's gonna die. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Was all. Chop. Fly. Who's this? At my neck. It's like a movie. your traveling companion a new student no you, you don't remember yes, my sir. name i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i yeah of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Shade! Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe ah, he okay, is a significant I saw threat. It. <laughs> and I should say. it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, hmm. wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Well, presumably from Ranrock. I it cannot to open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's Whoa. beard. How did you wait? We did. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so he's dead. Hang on. That's a shame. Is he? No? Is he hanging? He's hanging. Oh yeah, he's definitely dead. Okay. Oh, these are being flown by... Uh... Oh, we've seen death! We've seen death, so we can see them now. That's fantastic. I'm proud of myself for picking up that it's right now so quick. Give me your hand. You. 
So the key is a post key. Okay. So it's okay. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. So, heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay. So I didn't get past this. Uh, uh, the OBS crashed a little bit before. Uh, so let me just check on the graphic settings. Uh, upscale, no upscale, reflection, V. I'm gonna put the VC on. Frame rate uncapped, field of view, yep. I'm on ultra everywhere. Should I try the ray tracing? I'm gonna try the ray tracing. And the ambient. Because, yeah, the, the benchmark test didn't recommend the ray tracing on its own. Let's try. I don't know. Oh, no. Well. Hmm. We're not going to restart. Yeah, we're not going to restart, so. M maybe for next time. I'm going to see for next time, okay? Uh, so, yeah, the music. Yeah, music volume's been lowered to 50%. Because it's always too loud. I don't know why my select button doesn't work. Uh, I've been in need to select using the the mouse button. So I hope it's not an issue. Because it's definitely not my button that's not working. It's in the game. Okay, so. It's beautiful. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, do you know? Do oh, you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Seem pretty chill about your mate dying. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of okay, a long so forgotten yeah, form of ancient well, magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Weird. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. 
I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Can I can I fall? I'm gonna try, but it's very beautiful. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Someone wanted to block this path. Is it reasonable to want to pass? To undo it? Hard to perform a basic cast. Okay. Ooh. Excellent. Okay. I'm just going to stop the recording here a second just so I can adjust the frame the FPS on the recording settings. Now. So it says use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Some players prefer to select the target and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting. We'll see later. Oh, okay. <coughs> that was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Cool. I can break stuff down. <laughs> ah, up there. Hmm. That old dude is pretty athletic. We're close now. It's just ahead. Could you imagine living here and Steady yourself. I'm sold already. I'm sold already. Uh. Almost there. The Bound places are so beautiful yet so there's a danger in them, you know. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they value their privacy. That portal led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Current objective. Okay, quest objective details. Hmm. That's cool. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. How easy is it to build with magic? You know, could anybody 
build a place like this. Can I break through? Or maybe is there a axis? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Look at the horizon, look at the... Yeah, that's nice. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? <gasps> What's this? Professor Fig! It's me. Um, what is on the other side? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? Don't you and see how is the... there a room behind it? What room? <gasps> I, don't I don't see, see anything. It. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. He doesn't see it. Hello, Mari. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of exploring, I think. What in Merlin's name? Okay. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Someone's slipping. Someone slipping. Oh, a goblin. Hello? Is that a bank or <sighs> goblin banker? Yeah, it's a bank. <clears throat> but I'm I'm fine tonight. I'm really <clears throat> really doing fine and I'm happy to start Hogwarts Legacy. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> It can't be. Yes, it can. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, where have we been? Where have we been here? Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. No way. Vault number twelve, I presume. Precisely. Yes, obviously. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Good lord. Why does Gringotts look like an abandoned... After you. Like it's not functioning, you know, I don't know. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I can look around. Oh, I can't believe I'm riding green guards! <laughs> In fact, we'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? Okay. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Okay, it's a private entrance. That's why it looks so you want to take desolated. A, a what? Ah, it's fantastic! That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are Ooh. the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Whoa. It resides in the deepest parts of the bank. 
Settle okay. it. We've quite a distance to go. Whoa. I mean, take your time. Oh, done already. Thank you very much, Mali. Thank you very much for coming by. It's always nice to see you. Vote Have a good number. evening. Vote 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. What are your plans tonight? If you don't, if you don't mind me asking. I'm just curious. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Mm hmm. Gringotts has dragons to... to, to watch over the saves. Because dragons will come from here. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Wow, so they just... So they just put goblins at these desks. Even after hundreds of years. Just because they've been commissioned to do so. And so the host, the, the the ruin that we saw has been like that for that. Yes. Fault 12. Thank Fantastic. you for your help. They respected the aesthetics of the mo of the movies, the principles and all. So great. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Yep. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing. There's shall something we? shimmering in the back. Ready your wand and focus. Okay. Steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol path to land the spell. What? Okay. Oh, okay. I have to press them. Okay, I was holding a... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Cool mechanics. Revelio. There! I saw something. Yeah, there's something Move shimmering. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what yeah. you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? Wizards do, do. love tests. But to what end, I can't say. To ward off Stay uh, close. thieves. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Poses. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't suppose you can't disappearate out of Green Gods. So, <laughs> wouldn't be a safe bank. <laughs> I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Yep. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. Revelio. Then I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Yeah. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh yes, please. So, you acquired the one Lighting Charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Yep. No game audio. Yes, there should be a game audio. It's. It's pretty. It's uh, maybe not loud enough. I'll let you tell me. But normally there is. Hello, <laughs> by the way, sorry. Welcome to you. Um, I'm just trying to read your name. Did you hear that, by the way? Galadies the, the Go Shark. Sorry, Galadies the Go Shark. Hope I said it right. Can you hear the other melody? It's just that I've lowered the, the music by 50% because it's a bit loud. You can't hear the spells. But you can't, you can't, you can't hear my voice, can't you? Hmm. It's weird because I do have here the. Because here on OBS it tells me that it's working indeed. Ah, I do shoot. I know why. Okay, you should be hearing it now. My mistake, because it wasn't on the right track. Should be good now. <laughs> so here we are, investigating uh, Green Gods. Have you played the game yourself, maybe? Lumos! Well done! Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Protego incoming attacks. Oh, oh, I got it. 
Ah, lass mit. Professor! Huh. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Did, did this you play isn't it on. Good. On what difficulty did you play it? I'm on hard radar. It's my first playthrough of the game and I decided to go hard. <laughs> it's dark. Oh, right, Lumos. Rodrigo! Uh, no. Lumos! Where am I supposed to go? <gasps> Professor disappeared. Okay. What's happening? Follow the little lights. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, uh. oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. I'm already sold on the game. A fantastic job. Lumos. So Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no. Can't be good. Lumos. Should I position the others? I need to align these statues with oh. their reflections. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Okay. Oh, oh. Protego. Yeah. Holdering Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counter-attack. Stunned enemies take extra damage and indicated by golden numbers. Okay, that's good to know. Stun enemies during Protego. Stupefy counter-attack. Okay. Oh! I didn't think about watching my um, health bar. There's just so many different controls. It's not that easy to. It's not that easy to manage them all. My journey has not ended. It is just the beginning. Was that Hogwarts?
anybody else? Nope. Nobody Lumos. Else. That is good to know. Let me out of here. To discover I think I've lost the connection to the chat. Guess you're writing us. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Members are gonna we're gonna see. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as like I can. Lost the connection Your to ability Twitch. to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are interested in the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles. The witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. What is it? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces huh. of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Yep, you said that. <laughs> and you, it seems are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. What? Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in there. There are rules, Sir Goblin. I was right. Ran Rock. Ran Rock. Seems my reputation precedes me. Hmm. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found. So you know let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> you don't. Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. 
I was to grant access only to one with the key, and oh, you did not <laughs> On what authority can you I do have that? no patience for traitors. Now. On what, on where what authority were we? can you do that? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. What magic is that goblin wielding? Okay, is that us? We're gonna crash some little goblins. <coughs> oh yeah, let's let's move, Professor. I know way out. Oh. oh <laughs> yes, good, okay. I was afraid the professor wasn't gonna make it. Oh. <sighs> Apologies, uh, Galadies, I had a connection. Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? Be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Are we at Hogwarts? We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yes, yes, show me Hogwarts. That's due, right? Oh. <laughs> this is so exciting. I believe it's, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. It's, it's like a movie. Oh, it's fantastic. I love games with great cinematics, with great cinematography, with great uh, narratives. Can't wait for the sorting ceremony. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. Mm -hmm. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. I don't know anyone else, ceremony? So... <laughs> I wonder what house I'll be in as well. I have a personal preference, but... I don't know how it works. Is it going to be random? Phineas Nigellus Black. A black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Ah, uh, really? Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. A 
tough headmaster, but he could have just told us to go fuck off. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. It's, it's going to be on YouTube later on. Mm. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Did famous Professor Weasley on the... of the letter. Our old friend. Sorting hat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come YouTube. here with preferences and preconceptions. On YouTube. Certain expectations. Is this the same? Did they take maybe the voice actor who did the voice of the Sorting Half of the movies to come here and do the voice? Really, I love exploring places and everything, but studying magic. Mm, I'm cool. looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Yes. Mm. Yes. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Oh, I, <laughs> I have a great, I have a lot of all four. I like to think, but I think I, I want to do big stuff. I think ambition is. I want to do stuff. I want. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect oh. a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Oh, is it done? <laughs> okay, just two questions. Okay. Sorting out will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Sitting in your house, known for cunning ambition. And I, that was my little preference, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it does do that, just two questions? Okay, I don't remember it. Ah. But I mean, you know, the sorting hat wouldn't even need that much. It's magic, you know. Sorting hat has always been quite insightful. I'm gonna accept the house, obviously. Let's see what it says. You belong in Slytherin! Okay. Hey, is that your house? Is that where you're green in the chat? <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Oh. Due to the, the unfortunate lagging. injury okay. on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. No. Oh. No Quidditch. Enough. I heard it's not as though this. I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said 
I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. We need, we need to move. Yeah, yeah, we need to move. Oh, it's a bit laggy at some points. Hmm. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to nice meet, to meet you, you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yeah, I'm on PC. I'm on PC. I'm with a, a 47 TTI. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin title. common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Oh, what is it? Aspiration. Aspiration. Okay. Very well. Aspiration. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Well really cool. Done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I hope I do too. Really nice, this Professor Weasley. Yeah, that's what I was wondering before you you got here. There's only one Weasley family, so she's obviously one of the Weasley's ancestors. Living up to her name, uh, but all Looks the, like everyone's gone. But not that much room. for Fred and George, but... Uh, but all were all... They also welcome me, the Weasleys, yeah. It's beautiful. And the map the map really resembles the um the aesthetics of the uh, how do you call that in English? The The Mor Marauders map? I suppose some introductions are in order. That new fifth year must be different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the Ministry. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? Can't imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. <clears throat> Let them through. Okay. Oh, we're. Yeah. Making small steps. My brother just started. So the gossip. Well, I suppose. But for certain. No. Cunning as he is. Marauder's map. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure it was the same in English because I'm French, so I basically know the names in Well, I suppose. No. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Oh, I mean... Terrifying, exciting, I don't want to sound... But I lived for it. Lived it was it. dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Surely. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but... Not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. 
Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Mm -hmm. Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Uh, am I a big Potter fan? Hmm. I'd like to say I am a mild Potter fan because I trust big Potter fan would be would be like really really up there and I do not consider myself up there uh, I've read the books when I was little obviously watched all the movies um, what could I say? I'm someone who loves law, so I, I, I love, you know, discovering more law about Star Wars, Love the Rings. I'm, a, I'm quite knowledgeable in these two fields. Um, Harry Potter, less than that. So it's mainly because relatively I'm less knowledgeable in the wizarding world that I would not consider myself a big Potter fan relatively to how much I know of other universes but I'm still like I, I love all the trivia you know I love everything that has to do with um, tracking down relationships in Harry Potter I love that basically the thing with uh, Professor Weasley I love this type of stuff knowing who was who and I tend to lose myself to lose myself on the on the internet as well. I wouldn't do that if I were you. But I'm not a consumer of fan fictions or. Do you think they're looking to brew a polyjuice potion? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. But I love the world. I love this world. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the <laughs> way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, oh, man, I'd okay. like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Oh, man, it's okay. I'll keep it in mind. I'll, I'll just read your comment for people on YouTube. So apparently when I'll meet Ominous, I'll get some good trivia. Okay. What about you? Are you like a big potterhead or are you getting introduced or like an average, you know? audience member mm, do, you fly a lot? do you have a lot of time to fly during school I make the time there's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the quidditch pitch to clear the mind yeah but apparently no quidditch this year yeah no quidditch this year because apparently I saw the news that there was a quidditch game coming in so I reckon it's no surprise that they didn't put Quidditch in this game so that you would buy the other one. How astute game publishers are slithering, I reckon. <laughs> are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Farewell then. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. So now is an interesting thing because I reckon maybe we would have been sorted into Gryffindor. You know, having barged like that in the at the end of the sorting ceremony and everything. Here in Slytherin, we may be seen as a 
you know, someone who likes to brag and likes to be noted and everything, but in Gryffindor maybe would have been seen like someone with no luck. You know, I don't know. Just saying. Gaunt. Gaunt. I heard one. Potions championship the way she carries herself. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. That's what she said by Omin is. Chatter when you entered the common room. I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, ominous. Well, you certainly have a memorable arrival. See that that's see that's I'd say um if that gives you a reference about my Potterhead level, is that I'm not the average, uh, just a guy who watched the movies and read a couple of books. I do know my stuff, so I see Gaunt, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do he let me see. know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, yeah. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Ah, unfortunately, he said. Hmm, interesting. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is this ominous could be my new best friend. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, really? I suppose I'd be curious about a beautification potion. What? Not for me, but for mine. For a friend of mine. Oh, Let me look at the. Wow. Look at the common room. It's just magnificent. So many places. And, and so the common room is underwater. Yeah. That's just fantastic. What you gonna get for a drink? Oh, well, yeah, you're not here. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till you're back. <laughs> oh, this fountain is great. Oh, that's a fantastic fountain. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? OWLs. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Someone, please give me what magic. Is it? <laughs> it is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. 
You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps That's our log. In action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. That's my log. This way. They 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 made I the log. I certainly would have appreciated the something like the field guide when I was a student. That's fantastic. Using That's the so guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. It's moving. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic yeah, the door. and educate you yourself disappear. about wizarding lore. Oh, that's so fantastic. Do keep up. Yep, I'm here, I'm here. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Rebellion. Oh. The statue depicts the Calopy, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long mad horse. Long maned. Okay. Long maned. Sorry. Long maned horse. Maned? Maned? The largest Calopy ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Our rich. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. You'll progress towards completion challenges. Piers here. Completing that challenges. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience. Okay. Okay. Only experience. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Field guide tracks your current challenge pros progress. Okay. Select the challenge menu to continue. Yes. No. <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, okay. Field guide. Okay. Each challenge has tiers. Special reward unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Yeah, if I could get some better glasses, because <laughs> I didn't. The guy's supposed to look like me, but I didn't put glasses because the glasses, the, the t three glasses that the menu was proposing were. Yeah, yeah, they weren't just. Nobody should be wearing them. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. I follow. See, I follow. I follow you. Oh, I love this door. It's so clever. Ah, good timing perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your okay. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. 
Ooh. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and it includes the house, common rooms and the Great Hall. I like the ground staircase regions. In this field you can see the food flames available in that region. Green food flames represent flames you have discovered including your own house common rooms. Grey food flames reveal the locations of undiscovered flames. Okay. These are right the right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower library and greenhouses. I never knew that. I never knew that. How the uh Hogwarts map didn't know that. Select the library and X region to continue. Okay. That's so great to know these things. It's like a full fledged Hogwarts that you can explore. <laughs> Professor Lewis Weasley has unlocked the central hall full flames for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the center hall flu flames with X. Okay. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. <laughs> that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh, awesome. I Thank don't you, need Professor to know Weasley. anything about the A others. lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, mm. specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, you, you think? I mean, I mean, uh, an employee of the ministry died, so the fact that he's being vague doesn't seem really surprising. <laughs> But I need to keep it to myself, so... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Mm. Professor Fig! Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Hmm. Enough chit chat. With no I need to get to reason. class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. You're Come and spy find on me, me in my classroom <laughs> after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. To Hogsmeade? Um, slight criticism. Hello, welcome back. What did you get then? 
as a drink because I have my uh, my uh, my no name <laughs> you know what this is so what did you get slight criticism on the game I'm slightly disappointed that they are using the pronoun they generically I would have I would think that with this level of sophistication they could have gone the extra mile you know to uh, at least have us pick which pronouns we want we want so the dialogue could fit could reflect that you know because in my opinion when you when they use the pronoun they and that this is not exactly how you identify yourself uh, it's a bit weird still feels a bit in, yeah, impersonal or oh, just some water okay reasonable reasonable for a Friday evening <laughs> it's good to see you professor and you I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies did I hear you masterfully evade professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival Yeah, especially when they have different scripts for all four houses and multiple voice actors for the same character. Yes, they already did all of this wonderful work with background voices, background characters as well. Could have been, I don't know. But hey, it's still amazing. So far, we'll see later on. I did my best, but... I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she mm. may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Especially since Professor. the quite Good. square nature now, of Black. As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Hmm. This represents main quest. Completing main quests will further the story. Okay, unlock new features and route to XP. The field guide map shows Professor Eckhart's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find a way. Some quests are locked by spell and all level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be... Obviously, new spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Cool. Track a quest with A to continue. So, this defense, this is Charmed class. Professor Ronan, the class is enormous, I may need to use the charm compass. Let's go to charms first. Yep. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Is this an ancestor of the Ollivander that we know from the from the Harry Potter era? Charm compass. Okay, it shows me the way like this. No. Oh, there's a chest. 
Yes? No? Where is it? Revelio. Eleven twenty one seventeen. Hmm. For another time, maybe. Rebellion. It tells us these are linked. Okay. Oh, I'm not currently tracking anything. What is this? Utilities. This is my inventory. Oh, my spells inventory. <gasps> That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm not tracking anything. I want to track uh, charms class. That's ominous. You're not currently tracking anything. Are you kidding me? What do you mean I'm not tracking anything? Now maybe I need to use my ma my mouse my mouse, sorry. Ah uh, yes. Think. This game trying to make me mad, make me go mad. I may need to use the charm compass in the field guide. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Here it is. Okay, it's in the field guide. Ah, okay, it only works here, does it? Ah, there you have it. Okay. But I don't know what. I don't know what happened. Hello, court. Hello, people. Foo flames. What's this noise? This wind noise. Revelio. Cool. Painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and dark wizard Razidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Okay. Available in challenges. 
saw something. Oh yeah, that's the flu flame. <laughs> oh, that's just them clapping. Okay. Revelio. I'm gonna do Revelios all over the place. A small uh, project or a small uh, project <laughs> oh I fell asleep in Revelio okay. couldn't transfigure my way out of that Resident is one of the candidates for the dark wizards who created the dementors Really? Dem de okay. The mantles were created? Okay, that I didn't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, the mantles were on the side of evil first before rallying with the Ministry, it's an accord in fact. The fact that they guard Azkaban is just a, a deal, right? It's not like they wanted to do that, it's just a deal. Revelio. I love these paintings. Let's all burn to hell for witchcraft. Your school years are meant for studying, not long distance dalliances. Get a hold of That's brilliant. That is just brilliant. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest in here, but there's a wall. Ah. An augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an iris phoenix or augury. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Updated. I have a habit to press the jumping button because I think it's for running. Because of the Revelio. For a moment, I, 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 I thought it looked like the the statue that we saw earlier in the abandoned uh, residence. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Rumor is, Professor Hecate used to work for the Ministry. Or we'll wonder what she did. If I had to pick a professor to race against, it'd be Hecate. I'm serious. She's a thousand. Professor Hecate, and she's a witch. Revelio. Charms of the only class I can stay awake for. Mild. Oops, Before sorry. Everything I needed to know about politics. Heads up, Atlas! Go! I'm true, sorry. I'm a nation. That's fantastic. There's so much going on. There's so much to pay attention to. It's awesome. There's a chest upstairs. I'm gonna go for the chest. The Dementors feed on souls and happy memories, so they took the ministry's offer of giving them wizard crew. Yeah, that's. That's it. Sounds bar right. Revelio. Is the chest downstairs? Madam. 
And then the werewolves join oh, the, the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was the Albert Boot. Hatter. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> oh, sorry. My control is very sensitive. I'd wager Ravenclaw Tower has some of the best... Wow, that was interesting. Uh, I need to know how to resolve these things. Ah, no. Yeah. There's a combination. Hmm. Let's say, okay, let's suppose the sum of all three points are supposed to be what is in the middle. Okay. And the icon corresponds to a number. I need just, I just, I need to find what they're worth. Let's say you have, or maybe, or maybe it's a product. No, because if the horse is two, two times four is not equal to 12. But 12 minus four equals eight. If we go from the right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got it. I got it. Okay, and so we need a two. So it's gonna be the spider first. Uh Oh no, maybe it's zero one Hmm Yeah because I uh, uh it's twelve minus four minus the horse minus the two question marks. The horse, the four and the question marks but must, must be twelve. So let's say it took you a bit too. <laughs> Peeves the poltergeist. Yes. Um, so let's say one, two. Four, two, we need six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna be the ugly thing on the top. Okay, so let's say the horse. Let's count going from the left. There's a question mark. Wait. Okay, no, there's just one question mark. But it's not two question marks. Confused. Okay, let's try those. Let's what let's try what I think. Uh, 
it's not proposing the horse. Okay, so it's the other side's one too. Okay, so this here. Yes, but no, it doesn't add up. Zero, one, two. Or maybe it's the monster like a tick. that monster on the right has to be the has to be this and one two three four five six seven eight nine but no one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine. Well, the horse is two. One, two. But there's no horse in the proposition. Okay, let me think. Then again, the triangles are not in the exact same position, so maybe one is adding up, maybe one is subtracting. <laughs> the background music is like illustrating what's happening in my head. <laughs> because I have. Okay, so there's the, this one here. Perhaps it's one. But then there's no horse, so it cannot be two. Because three, two. Or maybe zero, one, two. Maybe this is two. And then zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I need the spider. No, okay. Ah, oh, I didn't see the out. What? What? I'm. Ah, oh, I didn't see the second one. Oh, oh. Don't do that. That's not necessary. Yes, it's necessary. Shut up. Oh, I hate myself. Okay, but now I need just to figure out uh, which. Uh, um sense damn it <laughs> which sense the numberings going uh, let's try the okay so it's two. okay oops sorry okay so it's an eight or a two zero one two three four zero one two Let's try the... If the horse is supposed to be an 8, let's try the uh, ugly beast that resembles a, uh, some sort of a tick. And this one is supposed to be 201... No, 012. 012, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, it's the spider. Wait, no, four, zero, one, it's five, seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should be good. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
Green stripped gloves. I hope this one is better. Free standing clocks. Something. Hmm. Professor Howard's going to quiz us on rare water beasts. Hello. Can't wait to tell her I actually saw a Kelpie in Ireland. You're a real cat. Summer. Okay, you're a real cat. <laughs> making strange noises. One of them is not going to be a cat. Okay. Well, I think this is a great point to stop the first part for YouTube. Dear people on YouTube, we're going to be seeing you for part two. And I'm going to be continuing right now. Um, and please take care. Have a nice life. See you soon. Bye.